this is going to be the first video of my uh, machine learning series uh, and in this video we're going to see how to recognize text from an image file using Firebase machine learning kit. So this is going to be one of the easiest way to recognize text from an image. Uh, so what ha what we are going to do in this video is uh, we're going to just create a normal uh, uh, basic demonstration application which snaps an image and it is going to process uh, this image uh, using the Firebase Vision uh, text recognizer and uh, we're going to uh, detect, it, detect and extract the text from this image and we're going to display it in the form of a text view. So uh, let us begin by including the Firebase uh, into a project. So I'm going to add, uh, add this Firebase uh, thing into my project. Let us see. On the example dot just drop the JSON file uh, under the app directory. So once it's done, make sure to uh, add these dependencies uh, in your Gradle file. One is under the project level Gradle file. Another one, another two are under the app level Gradle file. And of course, implementation not compiled. So let's sync this project. So I've been, uh, now the Firebase has been set up into a project successfully. So let's add uh, the Firebase ML thing to our project. Let's sync the Gradle files. Now the Gradle build has been finished successfully. So let's uh, begin by uh, snapping pictures uh, using our camera. So for that, uh, you can use the Google documentation that friends uh, for taking photos. It's it's a great source, and I love it. So I'm gonna copy this thing. Saves my time. And this one. And of course, I'm not gonna save these pictures into my uh, the gallery, so I don't need the rest. change this thing to image view so that's it and the permissions to be added to my Android manifest so let's run this thing oh wait a second I almost forgot to call this thing so let's run and see uh whether it is snapping any pictures or not so while the file has been building let me show you three. so this is what we're gonna do uh in this tutorial uh when we're gonna grab in a grab in an image from a camera then we're gonna convert that image into a bitmap object and then as you can see uh, we're gonna grab an image from the camera then we're gonna convert the image uh, into a bitmap object then we're gonna pass on that bitmap object into a uh, Firebase uh, vision image object that means uh, we're gonna create a Firebase vision image object with 
by passing a bitmap object into uh, the instance of this class uh, and then we're gonna call in the instance of uh, the firebase vision detector so once we have called in, called in the vision or uh, instance of the firebase vision detector we're gonna use its object to call in a method called as detect image which is gonna play a major role uh, uh, in extracting text from the image so what we're gonna do is uh, as soon as we have called the instance of the Firebase uh, Vision Detector, we're gonna call uh, uh, the method called as detecting from this class, and uh, we're gonna pass on an object called as Firebase Vision Image right into this detecting method. Uh, so what it, what is gonna do is uh, this detecting method is gonna use uh, the image uh, in the form is gonna accept a parameter uh, in the form of a Firebase Vision Image object. So once uh, it accepts and uh, it detects X, uh, the image uh, successfully. It uh, we're gonna add. We're gonna attach two uh, event listeners uh, to this uh, event. One is gonna be success on success listener, and the other one is gonna be on failure listener. So uh, in the in the on success listener, we're gonna uh, be um, returning some uh, uh, Firebase uh, vision text values. So so we're gonna use the Firebase vision text values uh, in order to extract blocks. From blocks, we can either extract lines and and the text itself, or we can directly extract uh, the text from the blocks itself without uh, even including or uh, separating the entire thing uh, in the form of lines and elements. We can either uh, extract the text in both uh, both of these ways. Either we can uh, extract the text in the form of block itself, or we can extract the text in the form of a line or in the form of element. So let me explain you what that means. Uh, so uh, if this is going to be my image and it has two to three uh, lines of paragraph uh, the entire thing uh, this entire paragraph thing uh, is called as a block it's going to be called as a block and uh, we cannot we can just uh, display the text by adding in dot get text method uh, into this block, uh, and uh, we gonna extract the text uh, just as it is uh, in the form of a paragraph, or uh, we can extract the text uh, uh, in in the form of a, of lines. Like uh, if if I'm having a uh, three lines uh, in a block, I can use a for loop to iterate each and every single line from it I can use a for loop to iterate each and every single line from it uh, and I can print it in the form of lines uh, if this is not going to be enough for me I can indeed uh, go to another method in which uh, I can include another for loop uh, in order to separate uh, words from each and every line so once I separated words from each and every line I could extract them and display in the form of words. I could display each and every word uh, separately uh, as per my wish. Uh. So uh, you can, it's it's your wish. Uh, it's it's up to your wish. Once the detector has detected, uh, extracted the, uh, once the detector has extracted uh, the contents from the image, it's your wish uh, to display the uh, text text uh, into your uh, application. Uh. So you maybe uh, you can either uh, extract the text in the form of a paragraph, or you can split it into uh, lines or in the form of words. So let us test and see whether this thing has been working properly or not. All right, the uh, camera has been working properly. Yes. And it's snapping images properly, and our images uh, been stored right over there. So now we need to work with our detect method. We need to work on the detect and process method. So I'm gonna create a method called as the detect text and uh, let us define this detect text method. And now I'm going to create an instance of Firebase uh, Vision Image. 
as I've told in the earlier part of this video, uh, we can create it from the bitmap object of the image that we have just snapped it. So uh, for that we need a we need to uh, globally initialize this bitmap object. What is this? An image bitmap. And most probably I don't need this. So let's pass the thing right over here. Image bitmap. So now we have created an instance of the Firebase Vision Image. And now we gotta create an instance of the Firebase Vision Image Detector. Firebase Vision Text Detector. So we have to get its instance. Uh, sorry, sorry. We have to get the get instance of the Firebase Vision. So once we have got the instance of the Firebase Vision, then we need to get uh, the Vision Text Detector. So now we have uh, just uh, initialized the Detector object or uh, you know Detect method. And then we're gonna use this detector object to call in the function called as the detect image, uh, in which we're gonna pass in the Firebase uh, vision uh, image. Then we're gonna add on uh, success listener. So once uh, the image has been successfully, uh, once the text has been successfully extracted from this from the image, this on success method is gonna be called in, or the on failure method. So under the on success method, we have the parameter called as the Firebase uh, Vision Text. So uh, we at this level, we're gonna create another method called as the Process Text, and we're gonna pass in that uh, Firebase Vision Text. Let us define that method of uh, private void process text, and it's gonna carry a uh, Firebase uh, vision text. Let us call it as the text. Now uh, we're gonna create a list to hold. Uh, we're gonna create a list to hold all our uh, Firebase uh, vision text objects. So now from our Firebase vision text, we need the block object and I'm gonna create uh, call this thing as the blocks text dot get blocks so what I've just done is uh, I've just created a list right I've just created a list wait a second I'll explain here so what I did do right now is this is gonna be my image these are going to be my lines. This is going to be my one block. So now, uh, in the process method, I've just created a, a list. Which holds all these uh, Firebase Vision Image blocks. So if this is going to be my list. And... Uh, my list has a series of these things and my list is gonna hold each and every single one of these blocks so I can just uh, uh, put all my Firebase Vision text block into my list and I can extract it uh, uh, for the later use for that reason I'm, uh, as in, I'm just um, declaring it in the form of list and let us check if my list if I blocks list dot size equals to equals to zero, that is, if my list is empty, then return. That means I'm gonna return nothing. For that, we can set a toast value, which indicates that there's no text.
So, what should we do now to display our uh, blocks in our image or uh, I mean in our text view? So, we need a for each looper to iterate to each and every single uh, block that our uh, detector uh, has been found from our image. For that, we need to call in the Firebase Vision Text dot block. And then we're going to extract all the text by using text.get blocks. Yep, it's going to work in this way. We need to create a string called as to text. And then uh, we're going to get we're going to get text from this block. Then in the text view, I'm going to first set the size of the text since by default it's going to be a little bit smaller and I hate that. And then I'm going to set the text, my text. So that's it. Our uh, image recognition, uh, I mean uh, our text recognition from an image module has been completed. Let's run it now and see whether it's been properly capable of uh, detecting any text from any images. Let's put on some uh, memes right over there. Infinity War memes. Let's put some memes. So our application has been up and running. So let's snap an image. So let's snap an image. All right. Let's hit the detect button and you can see it has finally detected something like uh, WATC instead of uh, see it has detected something so uh, this is that very much similar to that thing so as you can see uh, it has detected the lines which is given below in this image how can I watch language uh, like H is there it has detected OSD and can I watch in watch C instead of C it has deleted O. So uh, this is just a basic level thing uh, and it it's uh, compatibility growth as uh, because of its training and all these stuffs like that. So this is how you can just uh, extract a text from an uh, image uh, using your Firebase ML kit uh, and uh, this is one of an awesome thing to use. I love this thing because uh, it's very much easy. Uh, to integrate uh, into your app ideas See I'm 99 <laughs> It's not editing everything at least it's editing some push uh, Portion of the image so therefore uh, uh, This is this is how you can detect uh, uh, extract text from your images using the Firebase ML kit uh, for more videos uh, on this ML kit uh, Please do subscribe to my channel uh, if you have any comments uh, any doubts leave it in the comments uh, uh, see you in the next video 